In this video, we demonstrate RIO, a system solution for sharing I.O. between multiple mobile devices. Our first demo uses RIO to share sensor devices like accelerometers. RIO supports I.O. sharing between heterogeneous mobile devices. Here, we've downloaded Real Racing 3 from the Google Play Store onto our Samsung Galaxy Tab 10. As you can see, there is no perceivable delay between tilting the server phone and seeing the steering response on the client tablet, which is necessary for a fluid gaming experience. Another advantage of Rio is that it allows a user to enjoy a tablet quality game on a larger screen without actually holding the bulky tablet, which can become tiring after a while considering the additional weight of the tablet form factor. When we compare this with a native gaming experience on a single device, it's clear that screen visibility suffers for accelerometer-based games. Next, we show how Rio can share the camera between multiple devices. In this example, we wish to take a self-portrait using another phone's remote camera. Framing a self-portrait is notoriously difficult because you can't see the viewfinder when composing the shot. While front-facing cameras solve this to a certain degree, their resolution and image sensor quality is usually inferior to that of rear-facing cameras. After starting Rio on both devices, we open Camera MX on the client. The client is now using the service camera as if it were its own. Note that there is no perceivable latency when painting around. We now capture a picture, and as you can see, the shutter delay is no greater than when using your phone's native camera. In addition, Rio exposes all functionality offered by the IO device driver, including important camera settings, which other solutions do not provide. The high-resolution photo taken with the server's rear camera is now visible in the client's gallery, as shown here. We now demonstrate how Rio can share a cellular modem with a single SIM card between multiple mobile devices. On the left is the server device, which has an activated SIM card that we wish to use on the client device in the middle. We first use the default dialer on the server to place a native voice call, just as you would with only a single phone. The SIM card on the server phone is tied to the number on the receiving phone's screen. Now, we repeat the same dialing action on the client phone. With Rio, we can directly use the server phone's cellular modem to place and receive calls, which has the benefit of maintaining your original phone number no matter what device you're using. Here, we see that the incoming call has the same number when dialed on both phones showing that the client is indeed using the server's modem, and not its own. Other services, like Google Voice, allow you to make outgoing calls on any device, but you cannot place or receive calls using your original phone number. Here, we have the same setup as before, but for SMS instead of voice calls. First, the client sends an SMS to the receiving phone using the server's SIM card and modem. we see that the message came from the same number as before. Now, we repeat the same message action on the server, which is natively using its own SIM card and local modem. Finally, we demonstrate Rio's ability to share audio devices. The client device on the left can use Rio to play music on the speaker in the server device on the right. Rio facilitates a convenient way to share music with friends near or far, allowing them to listen to your music on their own device with their own speakers or headphones.